Hello uh, everyone, I am Miguel Plaitez and today I am joined by one of the best shooters in the NBA, Joe Harris of the Brooklyn Nets. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. Oh, hopefully Steph Curry doesn't hear that. Now Joe, all, all know how insane your shooting stroke is, but how did you become such a deadly sharpshooter? Uh, as I always say, lots of time and practice have helped to load me into the shooter I am today. But I also learned a lot from guys like J.J. Redick and Clay Thompson. Um, one of the key factors to be a good shooter is you need to move aggressively without the ball. And making sure you can find the opening on the court um, to get the best shot is a huge key. Obviously, um, an open shot is only so much unless you can make the shot. So I practiced my form so many times that it almost was natural. You hear that kids keep practicing. What kind of plays do you guys run when you get, when you get open? Uh, well, obviously we have a bunch of plays that I like. My favorite, which I can't say the name, just for scouting reasons, but this play where James Harden is at the top of the key and Kevin Durant in the free throw line, and I'm in the corner, and whoever the center is at the time sets a screen for me, and I run across the baseline to get open in the corner and get my shot. Works every time. Sheesh! That's a great play. Maybe I'll use that in my kids' youth league. All right. How did it feel to beat Steph Curry in a three-point contest? What can I say? It felt great. The greatest shooter of all time, and I was able to beat him. Not saying I'm better than him, but man, to be able to beat him, it felt amazing. Were you nervous at all? Nah. I stayed cool and collected like always. You can't get too nervous and shaky or else it, it messes up your shot. Obviously the pressure is crazy when you're in the finals, but you gotta be under control. Not just there, but in any moment. Yep, that's very true. Alright Joe, final question. Will you be staying in Brooklyn next? For how long in the round? You know, Miguel, I love Brooklyn with all my heart. And to have the record for the highest three point percentage in franchise history obviously means a lot. But the NBA is a business. And, you know, if they want me to move, they want to trade me, then I'm fine with it. I'll, the, um, yeah. <laughs> well, we hope you are able to stay. Well, that's all. Thank you for coming out today and have good luck on the rest of the season. Thank you. Bye, right? Yeah.